Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. A topic today is the first rightly guided caliph of Islam, Abu Bakr al Siddiq radiallahu anhu. Abu Bakr was one of the closest friends and allies of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was one of the first people to accept Islam. Additionally, he played a crucial role in the spread of Islam by Allah's will as he invited many of his close friends to the religion. When the Muslims went to Medina, they set up an Islamic state. Naturally, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the leader. However, after he passed away, there was a vacuum and there had to be a new leader. After consultation, the senior companions agreed on Abu Bakr as the leader. Hence, he became the first rightly guided caliph of Islam. Abu Bakr's first address contained the following message: "I have been given the authority over you, and I am not the best of you. If I do well, help me, and if I do wrong, set me right." Sincere regard for truth is loyalty and disregard for truth is treachery the weak amongst you shall be strong with me until i have secured his rights if god wills and the strong amongst you shall be weak with me until i have wrested from him the rights of others if god wills obey me so long as i obey god and his messenger but if i disobey god and his messenger you owe me no obedience arise for your prayer god have mercy upon you As Abu Bakr took charge he had to face a major problem some of the tribes that were new to Islam began to rebel claiming that their loyalty was only to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they had unreasonable demands and Abu Bakr dealt with them with an iron fist as needed however the next challenge was more complex false prophets including the terrible Muslima began to instigate hostilities against the Muslims After a prolonged conflict Khalid ibn al-Walid radiyallahu anhu defeated the enemies of Allah however the muslims suffered many losses one of the most notable things about Abu Bakr's tenure is the outcome of this battle among the losses that the muslims suffered were many quran reciters Umar radiyallahu anhu noticed this and brought it to the caliph's attention after a prolonged discussion he convinced him regarding the importance of the compilation of the quran Hence Abu Bakr set the process in motion by Allah's will which would ensure that the Quran would be preserved Much of Abu Bakr's time as caliph was spent on battles and conflicts he also had to counter the Persians and Romans his reign was relatively short and after just around 2 and 1/2 years as caliph he fell extremely sick sensing what was coming he decided it was, it was time for him to nominate his successor and he named umar ibn al khattab radiyallahu anhu as the th- second rightly guided caliph abu bakr failed to recover from the illness developing a prolonged fever eventually this led to his death as the tenure of the first rightly guided caliph of islam came to an end if you wish to learn or study the quran you may go to our website quranforkids.com or you can contact us on the given phone numbers if you enjoyed the video like and share it Feel free to leave a comment as well and subscribe and press the bell icon.